Hello, I'm the Lightbulb Guy with another straight to the point WordPress tutorial. Today I will show you a few free poll plugins for WordPress so you can choose which one will suit your needs the best. But before that, I want to invite you to become a member of the WP Lightbulb free course which will show you the three approaches to increase the revenue of your WordPress website. You can pretty much double your income in the next 7 days even if it seems unbelievable right now. Click here or go to wplightbulb.com slash course to start now. So the first plugin is called WP Pulse and it's super clean and straightforward. It looks something like this. After you have installed the plugin you can create the new poll by just going to the Pulse tab in your dashboard. Then click Add Poll. Ask your question and choose the answers. You can also allow your visitors to choose more than one answer. Select the start date and you're done. Then remember your post ID and go to editing any post or page. You see the poll button. Just enter the ID of the poll you want to insert there. If you want to insert the poll in the widget, go to appearance widgets and drag and drop the post widget in the desired widget area. Then just choose the poll which should be displayed there and click save. You also have the options to customize your polls. If you go to poll options, you can edit the look of your poll bar, choose how to sort the answers, who can vote and how to restrict the views of the poll. If you go to poll templates, you can edit the template of the poll with different variables. This plugin is great for those of you who just want a quick and simple plugin on their website. The second plugin is called YOP Poll and it has different templates. You can allow visitors to choose other answers and the values submitted as other will be available answer for the next visitor. You can also redirect people to a specific URL after voting. Let me show you how to set it up. Go to YOP Poll and click Add New. Ask your questions and write some answers. You can select default answer. If you do this, the answer will be selected automatically when people see the poll. Here you can allow other answers or multiple answers. You can also choose how to display the answers and results. You can insert a custom field and make it required if you want. The next thing you can do is select a template. Some of them requires to purchase the pro version. Then choose start date, end date and here you have plenty of options about what to be displayed, who can vote and preventing abuse. Also here is where you can insert a custom URL where your visitors will be redirected after they participate in the poll. You can also insert CAPTCHA if you want. On the next step, you can customize how to sort the results and the bar style. And pretty much that's it. Click on short code and copy and paste the code wherever you want the poll to appear. If you want it in your sidebar, just go to appearance widgets and drag and drop the your post widget wherever you want it to be. And the third plugin is social post by wedges.com. This plugin looks really nice and it has share buttons. One of every six people who participate in a poll are willing to share their result in social media. So with this plugin, you can increase the traffic to your website. To use it, you have to create a free wedges.com account and then create the poll inside the website. Just click on ask and write your question, submit an image and write answers. Then just click create poll. After that, go to dashboard and click on the embed button below your question. Here you can customize the look of the poll and get the needed code. If you want it in your sidebar, just copy the first piece of code and paste it in a text widget. If you want it in your post or page, just copy the second piece of code and paste it while editing your post or page. So these are the three poll plugins I can suggest. Which one you like the most? Tell me in the comments below. Also thumbs up this video if you find it useful and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And if you're still not a member of the WP Lightbulb course, check it out. 
It's free and you start getting more money from your website as a result. Click in the center of this video to start now. See you there.